ten circles. Yesterday we were doing chapter number ten circles. Yes, we have discussed the theorem that the tangent from external point are equal in length. Means if the point is inside the circle, then no tangent is formed. If the point is on the circle, then one tangent can be formed. And if the point is outside the circle, then two tangents can be drawn at a time. And or uh, you have to learn this result tangent from external point are always equal in length and one more theorem we did yesterday we have just done the result of that tangent and radius are always perpendicular to each other tangent and radius are always perpendicular to each other got it so we have two theorems in this and you will use the results that you have done in class 9th you have to recall all those results and we will use those results in this chapter okay now question number 1 we are starting with yesterday we discussed the examples also one example is pending that we will discuss later on after finishing the exercise okay so let's start with exercise 10.2 question number 1 no need to write the proof you please just listen to me i will send you the proofs in written okay so you please listen to me carefully so that you can understand the concepts first question is from a point q you can take q anywhere i have taken here from the point q the length of the tangent to a circle is 24 from the point q one tangent is formed and its length is 24 and the distance of q from the center is 25 find the radius of the circle find the radius of the circle yes who will tell me how you will solve this how you will solve this tangent and radius are perpendicular so it is a right angle triangle so it is a right angle triangle so you will apply mam by yes mam by pythagoras theorem we will solve this yes, question sorry. the side which is opposite to 90 degrees your hypotenuse this is perpendicular this is base so apply pythagoras theorem and get the length of op i am waiting for you to please all solve this Yes, by Pythagoras theorem, you will get the length of this as seven centimeter. This question is easy; you can solve it at your own. Let's start with question number two. I will send you the solution of all these in written, but I want you to solve side by side. Question number two is: Figure is given. Figure is given. This is point T. and from t we have two tangents tp and tq tangents from external point are always equal in length this angle is formed with the center and the name is poq this angle is 110 you need to find this angle you have to find this angle yes listen you will use theorem number 1 tangent and radius are perpendicular so this angle will be 90 degree again tangent and radius are perpendicular this angle is 90 degree can you see this figure p t q o p t q o is a quadrilateral so sum of all the four angles is 360 so you will get the measurement of this angle what will be the answer yes what will be the answer yes aditi
मैम सेवेंटी डिग्री सेवेंटी डिग्री ओके इज दिस कॉर्डिलेटर साइक्लिक इज दिस कॉर्डिलेटर साइक्लिक यस इज दिस कॉर्डिलेटर साइक्लिक यस हाउ मैम ऑपोजिट के ऑपोजिट एंगल का सम 180 है सप्लीमेंट्री है हां जी हां जी इफ द सम ऑफ द इदर पेयर ऑफ ऑपोजिट एंगल्स ऑफ अ कॉर्डिलेटर इज 180 इफ द सम ऑफ द either pair of opposite angle of a quadrilateral is 180 then it will be a cyclic quadrilateral so yes this is cyclic but it is not formed inside the circle but by using the theorem you can show that this will pass all the four point will definitely lie on the circle now next question is davnesh which theorem we have used in this divita diksha rule number 11 divita raise your hand diksha and divita hurry up diksha divita aditya yes which theorem we have used in this second question first theorem we have used tangent and radius are perpendicular yes, yes imani which theorem we have used in this question number 2 <coughs> question number 3 if tangents pa and pb are inclined tangents pa and pb are there from the point p to the circle and inclined to each other at 80 degree find p p o a you have to find this angle this angle you need to find how you will find this angle you have done the theorem tangent from external point are equal if the tangents are equal these two tangents are equal these two angles are 90 degree because tangent and radius are perpendicular can you get this angle in the same manner the sum of all the four angles of a quadrilateral is 360 so you will get this angle as 100 if this is 100 this line is dividing this angle into two equal part so it must be 50 because by congruency these two triangles are congruent how these two triangles are congruent these two sides are equal this angle is 90 degree and this is the radius so by sas triangles are congruent so these two angles must be equal and one more result is there adjacent sides are equal so it must be a kite and the diagonal divides the opposite angle this angle into two equal part so both the angles are 50 degree 50 degree each is it okay question number 4 prove that the tangents drawn at the end of the diameter of the circle are parallel this is a circle this is a diameter you can draw the diameter in the horizontal manner also both are correct ways the tangents drawn at the end of the diameter are parallel you need to show that this tangent ab and this tangent cd at the point p and q are parallel this is the center you need to show that ab is parallel to cd it's very easy how you will show that two lines are parallel then for the parallel either the sum of the co interior angle can be 180 alternate interior angles can be equal corresponding angles can be equal you can't take corresponding angles in this because in case of corresponding angle the angle if you take this down angle the angle will go 
outside the figure. So you can't take corresponding angle. So there are only two ways. Either you will show that the sum of the co-interior angle is 180, that the sides are parallel, or you can show that alternate interior angles are equal. Then also you can say that sides are parallel, lines are parallel. Now tangent and radius are perpendicular. So this angle is 90 degree. In the same manner, tangent and radius are perpendicular. In the same manner, this angle is also 90 degree. Can we say that angle OP B is 90, angle OQC is 90, and angle OPB is equal to OQC, and they are alternate interior angle, then only we can say that AB is parallel to CD. Question number six, the length of the tangent from the point A, one circle is there, this is point A, the length of the tangent from the point A at a distance of five centimeter from the circle, from the center of the circle. The length of the tangent from the point A, which is at a distance of five centimeter from the center is four. Is four ka matab hai, tangent ki length four hai. Are you getting me? Kata ek point hai A, jis ka distance center se five hai, us tangent ki length four hai. Find the radius of the circle. Now again, radius and tangent are perpendicular, so it must be 90. So by Pythagoras theorem, you can find the length of this side. Hurry up, get the length, I'm waiting. Two concentric circle of radius five and three centimeter are there. Find the length of the chord of the larger circle. There is one chord and this chord is acting as a tangent for the small circle. Yesterday we did the example of the same type as it is the chord and this is also the tangent for the small circle. If you join this point, can we say that tangent and radius are perpendicular? Tangent and radius are perpendicular to each other. So this angle must be 90 degree. Now, we have considered the case of the tangent and that has given you 90 degree. But if you take this as a chord for the large circle, can we say that perpendicular from the center of the circle to the chord bisect the chord. So if you have OP ko perpendicular, then to AP and BP kya equal. Aa AP and BP kya aa equal. Aa now what you will do here is, you will complete this figure and you will make a triangle in this. This is the radius for the large circle. This is the radius for the small circle. Can we find the length of BP by Pythagoras theorem? That will be 4. As it is a right angle triangle, so 3, 4 and 5 will be the triplet. This is 4. As these two are equal, so can we say that the length of the chord is 8 centimeter? Is it okay? Is it okay? I want response from all of you. Harshdeep, is this not clear to you? Jai Ditte. This question number eight, you have to learn the statement, you have to learn the result because this result can be used as a standard result in very short questions. Okay? So you have to learn this. What you will do, there is a one quadrilateral that is given in the question and there is one circle and this circle touch all the sides of the quadrilateral. And the name of this is A, B, C, D. And this quadrilateral touches the circle at the point P, Q, 
R and S. Got it? Now what you have to show is you have to show that AB plus CD means the sum of the opposite side of the quadrilateral is same. BC plus AD. Is it okay? Is it okay? This you need to show. It's very easy. See one side. You will proceed with this. Now you have to form AB. As you can see that A is the external point. So tangent from the external point are equal. Can we say that AP is equal to AS? Ab aap AP ke saath kya add karoge? BP? AP plus BP will give you AB. So you need tangents from the point B. B is the external point. So tangent from the point B two tangents from the external point B are equal that is BP and BQ. So you will write BP on this side and BQ on this side. Is it clear? Why I have written BP with AP because I want to add both of these to get AB. That's why this, this first result from the tangent from A and B have we have written. Now it's a turn to write the tangent from C. In the same manner CR and CQ are equal. C R and C Q. We want C D. So C D kya bana raha hai? C R. So iske saath aayega C D is equal to sorry. C R is equal to C Q. Is it okay? Aapne in dono ko add karoge A B banega. Iske saath ek aur ko add karoge C R ke saath kya add karenge? D R. To aapko yahan chahiye D R. Aur yahan se kya aayega? D S. So tangent from D dr and ds are equal now let's add all these four steps and you will write the theorem tangent from external point are equal in length add these ap plus bp plus cr plus dr is equal to is equal to as plus bq plus cq plus ds you can arrange them as per your wish AP plus BP is your AB. You can check in the figure. AP plus BP will give you AB. CR plus DR will give you CD. AS plus DS will give you AD. Actually, SS is common, so that will be removed. Here P is common, that will be removed. Here R is common, that will be removed. In this, Q is common, that will be removed, that will give you BC. So, you can check this with the to prove part, they are exactly same. You have just used one result and with that, we have reached at the desired solution.